on that subject, you, you just brought up transfer. Uh, can you drill down on, on that a little bit in terms of how that applies for multi, say, multi-sport athletes, which these days is a big talking point in terms of youth, just overall development and, and, and um, sports retention? Well, it's uh, there's a lot of work being done on long-term athlete development, mm-hmm. LTAD. And uh, whether you should specialize early or not specialize early. You know, so uh, transfer <clears throat> has an influence on uh, what you believe you should do to have the best long-term athlete development that you can get it. But we know simply that if if these motor programs are so incredibly specific, to believe that they are, then one of the things we would predict right away is that if you're playing basketball, it's not going to transfer very much to your ability to play volleyball or any other kind of thing that you want to talk about. If you're playing softball, it's not going to transfer all that much to, I don't know, tennis or even baseball or what have you. So, you know, once once you have a belief in specificity, then you also have to have a belief in lots of other things, in transfer and in uh, whole versus part practice and versus block practice and, and uh, what else? And there, I don't know. There's still other things, progressions and... Uh, state-dependent remembering, all of those things uh, essentially say the same thing if you study them experimentally, you know. And so in our, in my class, I used to say we've got this uh, broad, uh, broad base that it's, you can't ignore it. You know, there's just too much research support for this idea. And so if I were putting together long-term athletic development programs in my country, which I'm not, I would uh, be happy to have people specialize early if they wanted to. So I'd have some kind of program there for that. But I'd also have programs for people that get into the sport when they're 14 or something and now they're going to learn to play volleyball and so to have the best long-term athlete development uh, You know, there's some things to be said for getting in early and there are to be said for no don't get in so early you'll get burned out and you'll, you'll get hurt and what have you 